They're not meant to be here, but they're certainly busy making themselves at home. It's now thought there are as many as a hundred beavers living on Tayside. Over the last 10 years, the beavers have made remarkable progress, spreading through many of the small rivers which feed into the Tay. But not everyone's happy with their advance. Farmers and anglers in particular have real concerns. Well, these beavers have been introduced illegally. There's no question about that. And I want to send a very strong message that that simply isn't the way to go about things. We've got to work with the grain of interests in our countryside when we make reintroductions. The captive beavers which live on this estate have certainly changed the landscape, but campaigners argue it's for the better. They've welcomed the Scottish Government's decision. We just had to keep having faith and, and, and plugging on um, and, and putting forward the scientific arguments, putting forward the humane arguments. Um, and we felt, we hoped very much that in the end the government would see that this was the right way forward and so we're delighted that they have. An official beaver reintroduction trial is already underway in Argyll. It'll end in three years' time. Ministers will then have to decide if beavers should remain in the Scottish countryside more than 400 years after they were hunted to extinction here. David Miller reporting Scotland, Perthshire.